So um, uh, venture capitalists really love innovation. I mean, they really look for new business models, but uh, they themselves, uh, they are very conservative. I mean, they, most of them haven't changed the business model over the past 10, 15 years. They invest in companies they can reach with a one-hour car drive, and they like to invest in the same teams 10 times the same segment. So we are a bit different. We feel that digital business is really something which rolls out fast globally if it's a successful business model. And therefore, we, um, as a fund, invest with uh, five dedicated funds in Brazil, in the US, out of our San Francisco office, and together with our partners, Grey Coffee in, in New York. Um, we um, have a fund in Russia and in Asia and in Brazil, as I said before. So that's why um, we make it a little bit different. We really try to identify early stage business models, and we try really to help those business models, uh, business models to get global very fast. I think the, the idea of uh, code was very nice. Um, if you decide for a venture capitalist, you should do some due diligence on them, where is their sweet spot, where they are very strong, where they can really help you. And I think for eVentures, I give you some kind of impression. And I liked also the idea of uh, advising you doing due diligence on the VC. And if um, you know, I'm doing some kind of role play um, and, and um, you know, thinking of how our portfolio companies would judge us, and I think some of them, I would think of uh, one guy or several guys saying, okay, these guys took my business international. The Real Real, for example, it's a um, um, pre-loved fashion platform out of um, uh, the West Coast. We have now started with our partners in Japan, a joint venture to launch uh, the Real Real. I invite you to look at our portfolio and you see like Farfetch and other companies, a lot of companies who are really um, acting on a global level and that goes very fast. The um, real, real deal actually uh, was done on a global partner meeting. It took us about one week from the decision to go there to finance the platform, to get the team in place, and the company um, started. We were also investors in a city deal, which was bought by Groupon, um, and therefore we went, um, uh, or we became uh, Groupon investors. At the same time, we launched Darbury, a Groupon model in Russia, and we also helped uh, the Japanese team uh, to start QPod, that was the most successful uh, international business activity of Groupon, also bought by Groot, uh, Groupon a couple of years later, uh, a couple of months later. So, um, going international within the family, uh, investing out of one um, global team, that's our approach. And um, maybe one other guy, Igor from Rambler, which is a social network platform in Russia, would say, these people really helped me to create a company. Rumler was, and he was, uh, Igor was a CTO at Rumler, had the problem that uh, they had a huge increase in traffic, but um, um, he, they had to solve the problem. And he created or developed an open source platform called EngineX, and um, it's a huge success. It was, when we met first, uh, Igor already number, I, I think they had a six to seven percent market share, world market share in this web space um, area. And uh, we told him, you know, Igor, that's a good idea to found a company if you have already 6% world market share. Yeah, so I mean, you may be a bit late. And he said, you know, I don't want to organize Christmas parties. I don't really want to employ people and to, to rent offices. I would like to create great, uh, great technology. And uh, it took us some while, but um, we helped him to incorporate the company. It's now incorporated in the US. Uh, they are quite successful. Um, um, they are now up to 20% market share. Um, most of the Fortune 500 companies or the uh, huge traffic companies uh, use Nginx. And maybe as a last um, example, one of our entrepreneurs would also, or two at least, would say, actually Tom from Shuttle, that's a deal we just closed yesterday, uh, selling Shuttle to, to eBay. Uh, some of them would say, you know, you really advised us on selling too early. And from a venture capital point of view, venture capitals like to take the risk of selling too late because they really bet on the winners, on the IPOs. And um, so that's very difficult to, to get to an IPO as we learned earlier. So I'm almost ready. Um, the most important thing is to say, for some business models, it's better to join a large corporation, to join partnerships, and not to do really this kind of venture business. But um, selling too early sometimes is a very good idea to create a very big company. And that's also getting advice from your VC, making um, sometimes decisions which are hard, but uh, which are good for the company. So thanks a lot.